guys, welcome to another Urban Viking Hour review. Um, today's beer is going to be another one of the beers I got from Sainsbury's. And it's from a brewery that I have seen um, in my local brew shop, but I've just never ever gotten around to buying any of their beers. And um, it was on special offer, so I thought I'd give it a go. It's from the Caltech Brewery from Cornwall, and it's their Caltech King, which is a, a strong ale. I think it's about 5.1% or something like that. Yeah, so there you go. Nice lovely label on that with the uh, with the Cornish flag. Good stuff. Right. Let's give you some information on this one. Celtic King, a worthy winner of the National Brewing Competition. This premium pale ale is brewed by hand at the Celtic Brewery in Red Roof, Cornwall. Using only the finest malt from traditional floor maltings and selected whole hop flowers. Ingredients, water, malt, hops and yeast. Lovely. Good solid ingredients. So, and they've got a good website, uh, www.keltechbrewery.co.uk. I've been on there and had a little look, um, and they've got they've got a really nice range. They do a lot of seasonals as well. So I'm hoping to pop down my local beer shop and grab one of their uh, Christmas beers because I want to do a couple around about that time as well. So, right, Let's get the cap off. There's a bit of foam on the top there. I'm hoping it's not gonna be one of those exploding ones but looks alright so far alright I'm expecting um, a typical um, British Pale Ale on this one but it does say hot flowers so maybe I might get a bit of citrus on this one might not just be malt city um, nice little bit of carbonation typical sort of uh, English Pale Ale colour slightly bronze not, not too much of a head, so let's give it a sniff. <laughs> yeah, straight away. It's like massive amounts of malt. Oh. Quite powerful malt as well. Um, don't think I'm going to like this one. Yeah, it's mad, massive, mad amounts of malt. Um, sort of dark, sort of a rummy, biscuity, you know, cloyingly malty. Um, but anyway, we'll give it a go and see what happens. Cheers. I don't think I made a good selection this time. Hmm. Oh God, that is malty. You know what? I don't. I feel bad re uh, doing reviews like this because these guys have won awards. You know, they've won awards for this beer because there's people out there that love this flavour. They love the malts and stuff like that. I mean, in a way, I should have. I should really look into the beer before I buy it. But then I. But that takes the fun out of it for me because when I see a beer, I think, Oh, look at that one. I've never tried that one before. I like the name of it. I like the label. And I really try to go in blind, so I can try a beer, and it's always a surprise to me. That's part of the appeal. It's part of the almost addictiveness of it is just seeing a beer that I've never tried before and just wanted to try it. I don't want to research it. I don't want to go and rate beer and beer advocate. I don't want to watch endless YouTube reviews to see what it tastes like. I know some people like to do that because you know when you're in a supermarket and you're buying a beer, you want to have a little look, and that's why we're here to tell you what a beer tastes like. But when you review it, you really I think personally when you're reviewing a beer you should go in blind because <clears throat> in that way you get an honest reaction if you go in with taste notes up to the eyeballs and you know endless amounts of people saying yeah it tasted this yeah it tasted that that's going to have an effect on there and then when you're reviewing it you're going to be using second hand notes not everyone will do that I know that but if you go in blind you've got no information about the beer whatsoever you say exactly where you feel um, but obviously the negative side of that is I'm not a great fan of multi beers and this is a, a multi beer. Sorry if I'm if my accent sounds like I'm saying multi M U L T I. I'm trying to say multi M A L T Y. Is that a word? I don't know. But right, okay. Let's be fair with this. You know what? It's not that bad. 
yeah, the malt, you're getting a lot of malty, malted barley on the taste. You're getting this quite nice sweetness, um, which sits along the top and um, it sort of keeps it at bay. It, it stops it from being too overpowering. Um, and then you get this nice, it's quite mild, but you do get this nice refreshing bitterness at the end, um, which sort of sticks around in your tongue and doesn't last too long. Um, so it's nice and refreshing. It's uh, five point. Is this five? Five point one percent. So it's not a massive beer, but it's, it is a nice beer. If you like, I can't keep repeating myself, but if you do like the malt beers, you will really like this. I guarantee it. It's, it's got them flavours that are. You know, you can tell that a lot of time's gone into this. It's a nice light sort of um, body as well. Not a lot of carbonation, um, and it's got a nice bit of bitterness at the end. So that's about it, really. Um, for me personally, I'm going to give it another six out of ten, like I did the Dartmoor, because I'm really not a massive fan of multi beers. They've got so much in their range, though, so I'm definitely going to be trying more of their beers. But this is another one that's not really for me. Um, which is sad really because I only bought myself four beers for this evening and two of them I've not really liked. <laughs> so anyway, oh well, that's what you get when you're in a review game, you just want to try new beers. So anyway, uh, thanks for watching and watching me rab it on and talk bollocks. But I um, hope you enjoyed the review and I'll see you again soon. Um, I'm really excited actually about December because I'm hoping to get a couple of little beer mails up to send out to... I think I've got three people now in Canada. Uh, Chad the Albino Rhino, Nicholas from Maxwell Style Beer Reviews, and also Lee Haugley El Harlock. He doesn't need to, he doesn't need me, you know, this guy's been around for ages, you know who he is. But <clears throat> yeah, I'm really excited about doing it. Not so much in the fact that I want to get stuff back, because it's always nice to get stuff back that I've never tried before. But I just like the like the I love it when I can um send something out here and then watch the review, you know what I mean, knowing that I sent it. It's silly, I know, but I don't know, it just appeals to me. So, hopefully that'll be underway in December. So, and if uh, Canadian Customs don't rape all my packages. Um, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you again soon for an Urban Viking Hour review. Cheers!